this year, I'm AG and... PJ. Him. Is PJ. Him is PJ. Nice Him is PJ. I got the best English in the world. And today, we're going to be talking about DLC in Smash Bros. So, um... Pretty much a lot of leaks have been happening since the beginning of Smash Bros. Um, for release. Is there going to be DLC? Of course, Sakurai said from the start, if he finds time, he will obviously work on extra things, meaning that DLC could be a possibility. And as Mewtwo was announced during the direct extravaganza, who is going to be releasing in 2015 spring, we obviously know that DLC is confirmed, though, is there extra characters? As soon as Mewtwo is added to the actual roster of the 3DS, there's three spots still left. So pretty much in this video, we're going to try to discuss, is there three spots that can fit there from other characters? Yeah, and one thing I wanted to mention, just to confirm that Sakurai did say that, uh, you know, he had extra time, is I was actually reading a My Nintendo News article, and it was saying how Sakurai got interviewed, and basically he said, I still have... It was something along the lines of that he still had time because he was done, and the the, the development of SSB4 was really um, painful, I guess, or difficult. So yeah. So yeah, these are kind of like a few characters that we think that could be DLC. Though I doubt that. Like we might not get any extra characters as DLC. Just saying. So just a warning, guys. So this is our list. So. Type yours in the comment section down below. So anyways, yep. PJ's gonna start this one off. So uh, first of all, we have Dixie Kong. Now we obviously are only missing, you know, one main um, Donkey Kong rep, which is, you know, Dixie Kong. And uh, Dixie would be a really cool inclusion because she obviously has her hair and that could be really unique to her moveset, um, like her recovery would be basically her flying in a tropical freeze. And a lo this character is actually really requested um, I'm actually shocked that she didn't get in the, um, full game, like, no DLC, so what do you think about Dixie? So, um, Dixie is, like, pretty cool, um, like, honestly, we have Donkey Kong, then Diddy, and then Dixie, so, like, we would have to find a way that, like, Sakurai would have to find a way that it's not so clony, like, in terms of, like, it, she has the, the ponytail kind of floating ability but then by that i just hope he doesn't go back and like try to like copy a few moves like kind of because like diddy kong has his like barrel like remember he has like his cannons no. yeah if you it, like honestly if you, if you go back and think about it the recoveries are the only thing that are similar or i mean uh different so um i think they would be clones i mean it is what it is if she gets in, but hopefully they can find some sort of moveset for Dixie if she gets in, so, yeah. And for Final Smash, I really wonder how that would work. It'd be pretty yeah. cool if King came in. That'd be pretty sick. King K. Rool, yeah. I, I think that would be for Donkey Kong, probably, though. I, I think it wouldn't really make sense if it was Dixie. Yeah, so, I guess, yeah, King K. Rool not confirmed for Final Smash. But... I wish he was a boss in, like, uh... Like, the, the stages, yeah. Not jungle hijinks, but I, f I forget the name. It's some Donkey Kong Country stage um, that was really requested. So, yeah. Though for Final Smash, she could have like the barrels, much like Diddy Kong mm -hmm. from Barrel Blast. Um, so, next on our list is Lucas, of course, another veteran um, who is like, of course, Ness's counterpart from the um, Mirth, Mother Earth Bound series. And. This kid is pretty awesome. He has like a blonde haircut, um, flowing back with it's his amazing funny. haircut. It's so. kind of funny because like your hair and Lucas's hair is slightly similar. <laughs> Maybe, but not like a hundred percent. Like slightly similar style. So honestly, if Lucas, I, I Lucas was cut because like Ness maintains some of Lucas's moves, so I I think it's a slight chance that he would get back in. But honestly, they like there's clones that you can actually do something with, um, but there's then there's clones that you can't do anything with, and Lucas is one of those. Um, there's no differences between him and Ness except for the fact that Ness has a baseball bat and he has like some gypsy magic PK. Sparks, they have a lot kinda. of like differences in terms of like their moves. Yeah, theory. but they basically do the same thing. It's like PK freeze and PK fire. Uh, Ness had PK fire and uh, Lucas had PK freeze. Um, kind of old days from Brawl, but, um, you know, Lucas, if I, if I kind of look back, it's, uh, kind of weird to not have him in, 
but um you know it is what it is he's kind of a clone so it's kind of like i'm happy he's cut but at the same time it's kind of like eh. <laughs> what do you think well like the thing is that he probably wasn't in because i guess sakurai really wanted to cut back on like the amount of like japanese characters in this game because uh lucas was never in like an american game yet like he's always been in like well, technically, there's a fan translation, but I know what you mean. He hasn't really had a retail game yet. Yeah, he hasn't had, like, an official licensed game um, that was made for Earthbound. It's always, he's always been in Mother. So I think that he's probably just going with the actual uh, entirety of, like, the world. And any character in the roster usually has to be shown, shown up in, like, every single country that Smash Bros. releases in. So mm -hmm. could be the reason why he's cut, but hopefully... Um, like, maybe he'll come back, um, like, he, he's really cool, and if he does, then the, the clone issue really needs to be fixed in that case. Uh-huh. So, next we have Isaac from the Golden Sun series. Now, uh, I don't really have much, um, kind of info on Isaac, so, um, I think you can kind of start off with this one. And, uh, I've only played, like, a little bit of Golden Sun, so I don't really know much about the, uh, legitimate character, so, uh, what about Isaac? So, of course, Isaac, we said, like, could be a pretty good character, but we've just had so many Sora characters in this game, so who knows if you'll get in. Yeah. But he was, like, an assist trophy in Brawl. And, and had there's the no, there's no form of him in SS before. He's not even a trophy, did you know that? And, like, he has the same issue as, like, Little Mac had, like, how requested character um was a trophy in brawl as his trophy mm. and then like everyone wants him in so like maybe he would be in but like I'm, I'm, sh I'm shocked that he's not as a, like a character that was in the game already because like we've we've heard like nothing about him nothing absolutely nothing like, Sakurai hasn't even mentioned him in a pick of the day or anything. He hasn't been said in, like, directs or any trailers. The trailers wouldn't really matter, but, um, you know what I mean? And, yeah, so, hopefully he is DLC, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we have a lot of sword, um, wielding people in this game, so, uh, yeah. And it's kind of ironic because Isaac's Japanese name is Robin, and then uh, Robin from Fire Emblem's name is Reflet. So, um, imagine if his Japanese name was his English name, and then like there would be two Robins. That'd be actually pretty funny. Be but, pretty. Uh, yeah. So. And kind of um, Camelot, who kind of like developed um, Golden Sun, All right. did a bit of work i'd say in the smash bros like brawl so like uh like okay see he uh, isaac is unlocked when he's one of the random appearing characters when you play over 200 brawls in group mode so like maybe he'd show up as like a, a like a tribute to like camelot just kind of like helping out with brawl but not 100 percent sure like hopefully if he does he's not like a generic sword character and a lot of people want him in so lloyd would be better yep so next we have chorusman and chorusman of course is from like the rhythm heaven series and there's been so many leaks like from gamatsu to any other leak that's been saying that chorusman are practically confirmed and the only thing is like we've had like leaked images people who are saying that like text or like secret like icons and like logos have been found in the game and like character assets have been found of marshall and honestly like let, let's think only for the legitimate people who wanted course men in what would happen if the gamatsu league would, was never released what do you think would have happened Horseman would not even be mentioned it makes me so mad how these leaks actually make it um you know sound like they're gonna be in and we have absolutely no proof that the leaker was right at e3 2013 there's no article on that it it makes me pretty mad but i mean whatever so uh, obviously all three course men can't get in it would be marshall who got in and i have never played a rhythm headman game in my life i've never done any research on them in my life i have no idea what they would do I, and this is why I don't want them in personally, but you know, there's people who do want them in, so 
I mean, whatever. So what do you think of course kids? If course men got in, like, obviously you could have different things like having each different color for each of the course men. But they could also have like alt costumes for like the chorus kids and maybe pull off like an elf thing, mm -hmm. having like different costumes, like four so, for like kids and then four for like martial or just the chorus men in general. Yep. So. Maybe maybe there would be like two for the other uh, two missing chorus kids who um, don't make it in, and then Marshall would have four alts, maybe because there's uh, eight alts in the game. I think that's how that would work if uh, the costumes were like that. So, you know, I'm, I'm sticking with the fact that I don't think that the chorus men are in. I think they're just, you know, a bandwagon of um, the Gamasu leak, in which we have no proof of. It just kind of appeared, and we assumed that, you know, they had this proof that at E3 2013, um, a leaker. Um, got the first three characters that were announced correct. I mean, it's kind of weird, but, you know, whatever. So, uh, next we have Wolf from the Star Fox series. So basically, um, Wolf, he was cut from Brawl. Um, to be honest, I'm not really sure why. And the lesser clone gets cut and Falco can't get cut. It's just, like, such a rant that I could go on for an hour about. But, uh, you know, Wolf was a lot stronger than Fox and Falco. He was slower, but, um... I mean, I liked Wolf, I mean, I didn't use him much, but he was kind of a cool character, and it's disappointing that he got cut, and I'd really be surprised if he didn't make it back as DLC, what do you think? Like, out of all the characters, like, Wolf probably might come back, but probably has, like, a less chance, because, like, everyone's kind of saying that he's cut, like, makes sense, like, out of all clones, like, he was probably, like, the one that, like, Shouldn't everyone kind of thought that he was kind of, like kind of useless in terms of like we've had like so many like Star Fox characters and like everyone kind of seemed to single out on Wolf saying that he wasn't good enough for Smash Bros so obviously Sakurai must have picked up on that and said that Wolf is like just too controversial of a character and just maybe have him removed and then they gave his stats practically to Fox as he does have Wolf's alt costume yep and uh if if Wolf won't make it back in the game, that'll be exactly why. And, uh, you know, I still go on that I still think Crystal should be DLC. But, I mean, it's it's hopeless now. We've, we've kind of narrowed down these six that, you know, could be possibly in. And, uh, you know, that those are probably the ones. And I'm not disappointed with the roster at all, obviously. But, you know, I'm just saying. So, uh, yeah. Um... So of course that's our second veteran, <laughs> and the only there's only like the two veterans on this list, and then next we have lastly we have Impa pretty much because a lot of people have been saying like Impa could be like a linkable character even though like linkable seems like like it's not even I, happening. I I personally think that the linkable thing is kind of debunked at this point because now we know that Sakurai wasn't trolling about the all characters will be same in both versions. So, I mean, I, I didn't think Mewtwo would be on the 3DS version, I thought it would be a Wii U exclusive. But, you know, I was proved wrong, so he's obviously not lying about that. So, uh, yeah. So, like, Impa could, like, be in, like, maybe, but, like, Linkable's already been proved, like, it's not even happening, because, like, Sakurai would've, or, like, like the announcer would've mentioned it, like, during the 50 extravaganza facts. Um, but instead he didn't, and pretty much from then we just have like and Mewtwo being like DLC, and the fact that he's DLC means that he's not linkable, and every single like link, like linkable like thing had Ridley and Mewtwo in them from like every single one, yeah, exactly. meaning that they're all fake since Ridley is not in. He's stage hazard and Mewtwo is DLC. I'm so excited that Ridley fanboys will finally shut up and like that thread on Smashboard is finally dead. Like, it's not dead, but like, honestly, how do you expect a big dragon to be flying around and to use all of his cap- I'm just- no, I'm not even gonna- I'm not gonna start, but- 
Anyway, um, it was it was really good that Sakurai didn't make him a playable character because then that I way I was so happy. We I was got so the happy. best thing because if he was a playable character, he wouldn't have been as great because he'd have to shrink him down and he'd lose his awesomeness. And then him just like being a stage hazard, like is gigantic. Gets final smash. He's like practically a playable character, except in all of his glory. So like he's like the number he's one. He's a character. playable character, not meant to be, which is obviously just a little hint slash troll, if you want to really call it that from Sakurai. But now on to Impa. Um, Impa's latest appearance was in Hyrule Warriors, and ever since she's been back in action in HD, and um, people are saying that she's gonna be like chic, and uh, I would kind of agree. But, uh, you know, she has a sword, another sword character, and I'm not really sure about that one. Um, I mean, if Isaac can get in, then I'm not sure about Impa, but I'm pretty sure they would focus on a franchise that needs a newcomer than a, f a brand new franchise. So, you know, then again, I would be surprised if Golden Sun got no reps or any representation at all in this game. So, I don't know. What do you think? So, yeah, um, pretty much those are all the characters that we think for DLC. Maybe, like, we, we might have missed a few, like, just in terms of, like, maybe we'll get other newcomers such as, like, Septel, Crystal, Mock Rider, and everyone who, uh, who people have been saying should be in. Um, but, like, there's really no, like, honestly, it's easier to guess the roster, but in terms of DLC, we might not get it. And it's just too hard to predict, but maybe we'll get it, maybe we won't. But um, write what you guys think we'll get if we do get DLC in the comment section down below. And we'd love to hear your thoughts. And this is Mashka signing out. Peace. Peace.